Hello, it's Tom Barker from Sunsport here in Frankfurt outside the Hauptbahnhof, which is the train station, uh, the work train station in Germany. Uh, one day ahead of the Denmark game tomorrow. So, uh, team selection wise, what are we thinking for England? Well, I think it will probably be the, pretty much the same team. Luke Shaw is obviously the man they want to get in at left back, but he didn't train today, so the likelihood of him actually being involved is, is very, very slim. Um, the other two areas that you might look at is Trent Alexander-Arnold in central midfield. Sort of mixed, a mixed review, I suppose, of his performance against Serbia. I thought he was pretty good, but others are calling for Conor Gallagher to come in for a bit more stability and questions of him learning on the job in that particular midfield position. But you'd think at this point Gareth Southgate will stick with that experiment uh, tomorrow. And then obviously Phil Foden, there's a lot of question marks over his, how he can recapture his Man City form for England, but at this stage surely you stick with him and give him a chance to, to do that after winning the Player of the Year in the Premier League. From Denmark's perspective, they've obviously got to try and shut down Jude Bellingham. What a player he is. Fantastic performance against Serbia. Really, really stepped up. So hard to believe he's only 20 years old. Um, and uh, you think the likes of Pierre Melhoibier will have to try and think of something to, to shut him down, the Real Madrid superstar. But it won't be easy. Uh, finally, I mean, when you think about England at the moment, it all seems uh, a pretty happy camp. You know, years gone by, the likes of Gary Neville have talked about how they didn't really particularly get on uh, with players from other teams outside Manchester United. It was a recurring theme, cliques within the camp, but it's certainly not the case. As in fact, if anything, there have been a lot of uh, bromances that uh, you maybe wouldn't have expected that have cropped up. Ivan Tony and Declan Rice never played, only briefly played for England. They seem to get on like a house on fire. Mark Gehry and Conor Gallagher, they go way back at Chelsea. So that's kind of rekindling a, a friendship from years gone by. Same for Cole Palmer and Phil Foden. But there are plenty of others. I mean, Dean Henderson and Lewis Dunk. Dean Henderson, Crystal Palace, Lewis Dunk, Brighton. Uh, they're two teams that are very, very much uh, rivals, and yet they're getting on the best. And that kind of sums up, really, just how well this England squad is getting on in between the games.